Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a revised book cover on KDP. Now, this could be any kind of print cover. I'll be using a paperback coloring activity book as an example, but even if you have a novel or any type of print book, this will apply. And before I begin, if you find this video helpful, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So in this example, I'm going to use one of my coloring activity books. Again, if you have another type of paperback, you can follow these same steps. Now I tend to lay out all my book covers and that is for print books, front, spine, and back in Canva. I find it easy and I've been doing this for years. To explain how I lay out my book covers, if you're just starting out, the front cover here was created by my illustrator. So if I just temporarily move this out of the way, you could see that I had the KDP template in the background. And then for the back cover, it's just a series of text boxes and images. And I only had one change for this book cover, and that is to change this particular thumbnail because I recently updated one of my other coloring and activity books, and I like to put thumbnails on the back cover. Remember, the back cover is prime real estate. So I did want to mention again about the KDP book cover template. Whether you're using Canva or another app or whether you're hiring a book cover designer, it's really important to download the KDP template, and that's based on the trim size and the number of pages. If you need more information about the KDP template, just post a comment below this video and I'll send you the link on how to download the KDP book cover template. So if I click on say the front cover and I turn the transparency all the way down, you're gonna see that in the background, I have started by importing the KDP template in Canva and I overlaid all the images over top of it. Going to the back cover, if I turn the transparency down, you'll also see the template there. So basically what you'll want to do is make sure that you don't go too close to the pink border and the lines around and in the middle of your book cover. Just keep everything in a little bit from the border and also make sure that you leave room for the barcode. You don't really, if you're using KDP, have to add a barcode. You don't have to pay for one. KDP will generate a barcode for you for free. If you're hiring a book designer and they put the barcode on there, when you order your proof, you're gonna see like a double barcode. But when you have your final, when you order your final copy, you'll just see one barcode. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the transparency back up. Okay, so as far as making an update to your cover. Again, all I did was change this image. So in my uploads, I already had uploaded my revised cover of this thumbnail, and I just took this and I dragged it over and popped it in and it replaced the image. So whether you're changing an image or text in a text box, make that change. And then you'll wanna download your cover to prepare it for uploading on KDP. Now, if you use Canva, I'm going to show you how I download it. If you did not use Canva, if you use another app or you hired a book cover designer, just make sure that the final version is a print ready, high resolution PDF to upload to KDP. For downloading from Canva, click share, download, and then you want to change the file type to PDF print and make sure the color profile is changed and set to CMYK for printing. And I like to flatten the PDF as well. And then you just click download. And then I recommend that once you download it, that you go ahead and open up that PDF. Mine is open in Adobe Reader here and just check and make sure that everything is in order. Okay, and now I've moved over to KDP, and the next step is to go to your book in your bookshelf, and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and locate this Counting and Math with Pasta and Meatballs. This is the activity book where I'm updating the cover. So I wanna to go to my paperback, which is currently live, and I'm gonna click on the ellipsis here, and I wanna select Edit Paperback Content. This takes me to the paperback content tab, and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the book cover area. And next, I don't know if you could see, cause it's really small, but this is my current cover. 
and the image has my older thumbnail for one of my books. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload your cover file. And next you'll want to navigate to the folder where you saved your downloaded final PDF of your print cover. You could single click and then select open or just double click on the file. And momentarily it will go ahead and upload your cover file. And once it's set successful, you'll want to scroll down and answer any questions that you may not have answered in the past. Now for book cover, there's a check mark. As I mentioned about the barcode, I like to just let KDP add the free barcode, but if by chance you are adding your own barcode or your book cover designer has added a code, then you'll want to check this box. Below that, there's a question that says AI generated content. So if you haven't answered that question for existing books on your bookshelf, then you'll just want to answer that yes or no if you use AI to generate any content. And you want to also make sure that you check this box to confirm that your answers are accurate. Finally, whenever you make changes to your book cover or your interior files, you always want to click Launch Previewer and give a look and check the changes. Okay, so this is the Print Previewer and I'm checking my full book cover. Nothing really has changed except this one image, but whatever revisions you made, you want to double check and make sure that everything is on point and pay attention to the borders and make sure that there's no important imagery or text outside of the borders. And if you made any changes to the interior by chance, or if you want to just give another look to the interior, you want to click on this right arrow and double check the interior. Okay, I double checked everything and now I'm at the end of my book. Everything looks okay with the changes that I made to my full cover. So you have two choices here. You can exit the print preview if by chance you decided you need to make another change and you want to upload a new file, or if everything looks a-okay, go ahead and click approve. And this takes us back to the KDP dashboard. I'll go ahead and scroll down and on the bottom right, we want to click save and continue. This will take us to the final paperback rights and pricing tab. While you're here, you want to check everything, make sure price-wise that nothing has changed, etc. And then all the way down on the bottom right, if you have only made minor changes, you probably don't need to order another proof. If you've made major changes to your cover or the interior, then I highly recommend that you click request proof until you publish your paperback. In my case, I only made that one minor change to the thumbnail on the back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish your paperback book. And while we're waiting, I just want to mention that if you choose not to order a proof, whether you made minor changes or major changes, then make sure that once your book is live on Amazon, that you order a copy either directly from Amazon, which is perfectly fine to do, or you can order one or more author copies from the back end. Once submitted, you'll receive this pop-up and it will let you know that your paperback has been submitted and will be live within 72 hours. Once live, you'll receive an email that your book is live. You can also monitor the status on your dashboard by going to your book listings. And as you can see, in addition to saying live, it now says updates in review. So once it's totally live, then this updates in review will disappear. And you'll want to double check and make sure everything looks okay on Amazon. And that's all it takes to upload a revised cover on KDP. If you want to learn more about KDP, check out my Author Journey Series Toolkit books and check out the description below for information on my KDP self-publishing course, How to Get Your Book on Amazon in 30 Days or Less. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.